proposals for the substantive committees and then think about uh, drafting and whatever else uh, has to take place, which we probably all will have some role in. Okay. Um, Bill, where would you like to go? Uh, what, what's the next item you'd like to address? Well, let's have a discussion about these, you know, suggested assignments. Okay. And see if people are comfortable with the assignments. And then let's continue that discussion to see if at least one of those people could volunteer to lead each work group. It's cost us that I would like to work with those persons uh, about a schedule and, and other details that could follow. Oh, okay. So let's discuss the uh, you know potential assignments and then uh, hopefully a volunteer for each of the three okay, work groups. Okay, sure. So the first group was the money and elections with Noble, Jeff, Carmen, Matt, and Dominic. And uh, is there someone in that group that would really that's really you know, eager to be on one of the other two groups or doesn't want to be on that first group? So who would like to be the uh, subcommittee chair there? Jeff? <laughs> uh, sure, I'd be happy to. Okay. Uh, Jeff yeah, is the subcommittee the chair. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. I'm not sure this matters, but Jeff is also the secretary, so we, I just want to be mindful of everything we're asking him to do. I have right. no objections, but I just want to make sure right. we think well, about that. Yeah, well, if you want, want something done, you ask a busy person, right? Yep. So, uh, if you feel <laughs> overloaded or overwhelmed, Jeff, you let us know. We'll, we'll have to make a change. Yeah, I sure, I sure oh. will. Okay. Thank and you. You're welcome. So the second group, the Corporations and Entities Subcommittee, Nick, Mike, Michael, and uh, Jennifer, and who's the, who's the other Scott. person? Scott McDermott. The Scott other. McDermott. Um, anyone there who would really much prefer to be in another committee or not on that committee? Well, Scott. Oh, did Thank Scott you. just volunteer? What's that? No. So who would like to be the subcommittee chair there? So do we have, I mean, is Nick uh, on the phone or is he still in limbo? Let's see. Nick, are you here? No? You know something? I, I don't have any. No one's called my phone. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Magic. Hi, who's this? Oh, hi. Okay. Just in time to volunteer, Just in Nick. Time Great job. Nick, 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 you've been. Uh, you've you've been. Uh, uh, Where am I? Yeah, you, you're all, we're all together, and you've been nominated to be on the, uh, on the Corporations and Entities Subcommittee. How do you like that? Great. All right. So now we'll, you're on there with uh, Michael, Scott, and Jennifer on that um, subcommittee. Sorry, I'm having a difficult time understanding what you're saying. I'm sorry. Uh, you're on the Corporations and Entities Subcommittee. Yes, okay. And you're on there with uh, Michael, Scott, and Jennifer. Okay. So we're, we're asking whether Jennifer, uh, Scott, Michael, or you would like to be the chair of that subcommittee. Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. okay. Who was that, Nick? This is this is, uh, that was Carmen. Nick, yes. This is Carmen. Was that, was that Nick that volunteered? <laughs> <laughs> I muted you. You're all set. Don't worry about it, Jen. So, so Nick, thank you for stepping up and uh, volunteering to chair that uh, subcommittee. Appreciate it very much. Now, we're moving on to a third subcommittee, which is how to advance, uh, how to achieve advance the proposed constitutional amendment, and we have. I can't read my handwriting on that. I see Joyce, Jay, is it Bob, and I'm not sure who the. I think that's the communication. Yeah. Oh, communication? Yeah. Is that the communication? communication. Yeah, yeah, I got him. I got him both. A nice try. Nice try. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the communication. Okay, the communications committee. 
So who's on the communications committee? It's, it's myself, Bopa, Cheryl, and Joyce. Okay. And who would like to chair that committee? Unless my colleagues have any objection, I'll I'll take that one if that helps. I think that's true. All right, great. Right. No objection. That's tremendous. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Who would like to volunteer? That was me. Okay. So, what what do you think might be a good next order of business, uh, Bill? Uh, uh, Cross this is with us also. Background noise here. Somebody might be rustling papers or something. Uh, who volunteered to uh, chair the uh, communications subcommittee? That was me, Bill. Jay, Martha. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. So, my. So, on this topic, uh, Cross maybe mm -hmm. you and I could follow up with Jeff and Nick and, and Jay. Yep. Uh, about some further details, get those three subcommittees launched and on a schedule and so forth. Does that sound yes, okay? Yes, we'll, we will uh, we'll reach out and touch base with uh, the subcommittee chairs directly. Uh, you did see the proposed memo just about getting some, you know, a basic sense of the, uh, the main purpose of these groups, but we are going to um, work with uh, each of the groups to ensure that uh, the research in these specific areas is being done and then have regular reports back to the full commission uh, at upcoming meetings about some of the findings and results. And again, um, some of that will overlap with what the commission is doing, testimony as a group, uh, with all sorts of things that we're all doing uh, together. But at least some of the heavy lifting in terms of the research and you know whatever our thinking is in these areas, at least some of that uh, can start to be done in the working groups or the committees, and so we expect that the committees will need to arrange to have at least some uh, meetings on their own or some discussions. They don't have to be in-person meetings, but uh, however it is, each group decides to pursue its work as long as um, we have a, an idea of um, the kinds of things that they'll be working on uh, and, and that that's getting done so that we can bring it to the full So um, that think, sounds good, uh, yeah. you know, comment to those in, in the room. Uh, we want to turn our attention to a discussion with Mike Sullivan, who graciously agreed to be there. That's right. I uh, just spoke with him uh, and he said... Any other yeah. public comments, should there be any? And then as we head towards the conclusion, we'll just have to pick a uh, time and place of a discussion about the next full commission meeting. Okay. And so, Carmen, just because I'm not, I'm not there, do we have any... Uh, visitors or any uh, any folks there from the public who wish to talk with us uh, this evening? I, I only see 22 people raising their hands. <laughs> no, only only five of the 22 raised their hands. Okay, just to give us a sense of, of you know the, the the timeline for the meeting here and what we need to allow yep. for for a public public so comment. So maybe we so. should. Uh, we should we should spend some time now with Mr. Sullivan and uh, yeah. either conclude with him or or we could take a break and, and answer go with the public and then go back to him. But why don't we start off with with uh, Michael Sullivan now? Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. And oh, by the way, we have uh, we have with us from the Birmingham State University Peter Chisholm who uh, put this all together for us. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so. Mr. Sullivan, what elections does the OCPF uh, responsible for regulating in Massachusetts? Uh, we're responsible for everything from governor down to whatever the lowest race is that you can find in the Commonwealth. All right, thank you. And uh, would you give us a brief, let's say three minutes, tops, overview of campaign finance law in Massachusetts? Well, it's heavily, it, heavily focused on what is a statute at the federal level. Much of our statute tracks what the FEC deals with. I hope the uh, people believe that we do it a little more effectively than the FEC. But that's, uh, that's an issue that can be debated. Um, we spend a lot of time on education. We spend less time on enforcement think that education is far more important than enforcement unless there's a big problem. 
Uh, we try to work with people to get them to understand the law. We know that it's a niche law. There's not a lot of people in the state who understand our statute. Um, First-time candidates, we try to get them into our seminar. Uh, we, we do a lot of outreach. And um, it, it, it's a, probably one of the more restrictive campaign finan finance laws in the state, uh, in the country. Uh, when I go to our national conference and I hear about other states who have no limits on what people can give and no limits on what corporations can do uh, and no limits on what parties can do, it, it's, um, it's interesting to say the least. Um, I would say that my colleagues around the country think that we are among the most restrictive states uh, in the union. What limitations do exist on contributions to influence elections in the Commonwealth? Well, I think you look at the at the the amount limits first and foremost. Our amount limits, which were changed about three or four years ago for individuals, are a thousand dollars per person per year to a particular candidate. Uh, PACs can give five hundred dollars. Corporations can't give anything. The state party can provide a three thousand dollar check to uh, a candidate, and they can also pay all of that candidate's expenses, which are known as in-kind contributions. A local party can give a thousand dollars to a candidate. A ballot question committee cannot give to a candidate uh, because a ballot question committee has no limitations. They can raise money from any source in any amount. Uh, so you're can looking I just at. Can jump in with a quick question? When you said corporations, do you only mean corporations or does it also include uh, there any limits on uh, limited liability companies known as LLCs? So the, way, the, way, the best way for people to understand it and the best way for us to describe it when we do a seminar is that if you get any kind of a corporate check, whether it's an LLC, a limited partnership, et cetera, you should probably call that person to determine exactly what they are because the only type of business entity that can give is a sole proprietorship. So unless you're a sole proprietor, then no other business can give any money in Massachusetts. That, that's correct. That's directly Thank to you. a campaign. Um, can we talk about that, the independent expenditure aspect of this? and? Sure. Uh, how those kinds of contributions are tracked and monitored and reported. So let's talk a little bit about uh, express advocacy and how it works. Corporations can give money to a super PAC. They can spend money on their own, and those entities can. And, but they have to do it without coordination with a candidate. It's not at the request or suggestion of. Uh, it's not in cooperation or consultation with. And so how do you figure out what's coordination and what's not? It's very difficult. Uh, we've got a couple of interpretive bulletins that we've put together that talk about firewalls. Um, but I think that there are probably people out there who spend as much time trying to figure out how to get around a firewall as we spend trying to create one. So um, I don't think we've seen as much corporate involvement as I expected originally. Um, we see a lot of union involvement as well not to mention corporate involvement, they're both involved. Um, I didn't know if I said that it would beep, but uh, it's, uh, it's emerging, I guess is the best word to use. Um, and we call super PACs IE PACs, independent expenditure PACs, so those are synonyms. Uh, and you can go on our website, uh, which by the way, I don't know how many of you have been, to there, been there, but it's a treasure trove of information that you paid for, so you ought to take a look at it at ocpf.us. All independent expenditure spending is there. All IE PAC spending is there. All candidate spending is there as well. So if you wanted to go in and spend the time to do 